Here you are again. You, you keep coming back. Why do you keep coming back? I told you, get out of here. Exit stage, right, left, wherever you want to put it. Get out of here. I keep telling you to get out. I don't want you here anymore. You left for a reason. Why do you keep coming back? You keep bothering me. You keep coming around when I keep saying, I don't want you here. You left for a reason and I don't miss you. Even though I keep thinking about you. Has that ever happened to you before? Have you ever thought about someone and they keep coming back in your mind over and over and over again? It's like they're on a schedule. It's like a, on a, a merry-go-round on a carousel. It just keeps coming back and it keeps coming back and it keeps coming back. And you're like, why do I keep thinking about this person? We broke up years ago or our friendship ended for whatever reason. You know, we had our differences. I had to get out of there or I had to kick them out of my life or I had to block them on social media. But I keep thinking about them and I'm thinking about them more and more and more. And I'm not thinking about them in a way of trying to get back together or, hey, let's be buddy, buddy. It's just like a thought of them just kind of flashes in my mind and it annoys me. You know what it is? It's the devil. The devil is trying to distract what God is doing in my life. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought that way before? I have. And most recently, people have been popping up in my mind over and over again. And the first thing I'm saying is, yes, yeah, the devil. Yup, it's definitely the devil. It has to be the devil. I haven't thought about this person in years. I forgot I knew this person. And they keep coming back. It's got to be the devil. It's trying to distract me from what God is trying to do through me. Let me introduce a different way or an alternative way of thinking. Have you ever considered that it could be God that's placing that person in your mind? God is calling that person to your remembrance. We often think that the devil is whenever there's something that it didn't agree with us or it was a painful memory that we wish that we forgot. God could be placing that person in your mind for you to pray for them. What's the cost of a prayer? I'm not saying that you need to call them up and say, hey, big head, how you been doing? You know, or hey, you know, send them a card. I'm not saying doing do any of that. I'm saying that a prayer is free and they don't even have to know that you've done it. You don't have to say, hey, you know, by the way, I prayed for you the other day. You know, I was just calling you up just to let you know that. You know how we can be. Don't be messy about that. Just pray for the person. It's free of charge. You never know what your prayer may be doing. That person may be going through the worst thing in their life. And while we may have a very bad memory of them, we may be calling them the devil. The devil is a spirit. And the devil uses people. He uses you. or He could have used you before. He could have used you in that situation. A lot of times we may be thinking that the devil may be using other people. We could have been tricked by what the devil may have caused us to doubt. So we have to have as much grace to others as we do ourselves. Sometimes we make mistakes, but should we have to continually pay the penalty of a mistake that we made in the past? Do we have to continually hold people to the same mistake that they've made or a mistake that they made in the past and not pray for them? The Bible talks about confessing our faults one to another and pray for one another. And that doesn't mean that I have to call you up and let you know I prayed for you. It's free to pray, so why not pray? That person may need that prayer that you're going to send to God and God answer the prayer that you sent to them. 